Hello, this is Lukar Zapatal from Satellite 6 Engineering and I will be showing you today a short demo how to set up what's called host group provisioning on Satellite 6 II. Um, you know, normally in a Satellite 6, um, the way you um, do provisioning usually is you create a new host entry here and give it a MAC address if that's bare metal or you can leave it blank if you're doing a VM or cloud and then you know the host will pick Cboot into Anaconda installs. We also s offer some kind of extensions to this workflow, boot disk and discovery plugins, but the, essentially this is how it works. Now in Satellite 5 uh, it was a different approach where you create a kickstart first and then the host checks into Satellite. We have that uh, workflow as well, but it's uh, hidden, really hidden in the user interface. Uh, we're improving the documentation for 6.3. We are also cleaning up some bugs I will be describing today, uh, which are which are unfortunately in 6.2, <coughs> but we're, we will be cleaning that out. So 6.3 should be a much better experience, but I would like to uh, show you how to set, set things up. Uh, so first, I synced <coughs> two kickstarts already, uh, x8664, RHEL 7.4, and RHEL 7.3 uh, IBM mainframe. So if I expand, that's 7.4 here, and system Z7.3 here. I'll be showing you, I'll be setting up a host group provisioning with both today. So first thing we need to have is <coughs> operating system. We need to, to create operating system. Now let me just delete the one I just created. Uh, all right. So when you sync um, kickstart, well, Automatically create a uh, rel, uh, it will automatically create a slide so will automatically create a rel, uh, operating system entry here. So for uh, Intel, this and uh, this was created here, and it will fill all the details here. Select the installation media, right? It will also create an installation media, which is for uh, Intel. It's this one under this name, an organization environment, which is library, name of the product, name of the repository, and then the, you know, URL. We won't be using, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and delete the uh, installation media I just created when I was testing this. We won't be using installation media at all. So what we'll do, we'll create a dummy installation media. Now you may, Notice that for uh, mainframe, the installation media was not created. This is due to bug in 6.2. We'll be fixing that in 6.3, uh, where for non Intel architectures, for some non Intel architectures, installation media, our oh, kickstart is not recognized, therefore, installation media is not created. We could create it here manually, just you know, we, we need to find out the URL and enter it here, but it we won't use installation media, we'll be using static kickstarts here. So what I'm gonna do is I will create a dummy installation media, uh, HTTP localhost or anything but localhost, you know, fails quickly in case this is used somewhere, but it won't be used. And type of Red Hat. So this is a dummy Red Hat installation media. We just need this to pass some uh, host group creation. That's the first step. Second step, operating systems. So for each individual Intel uh, kickstarts, operating system will be created automatically. Operating systems can be also created when a, a puppet checks in <coughs> and there's an operating system entry there. Um, for mainframe, we don't have any existing hosts uh, or else servers are 7.3, so we, we can create an operating system manually. So it will be RHEL server 7.3. Rel server 
rel server 7.3. Well, we're interested in these architectures. And installation media, we only need to check dummy over, over here. And kickstart, uh, kickstart simple. Kickstart default is the default one. I also have a kickstart simple, which is uh, more simple. Now, uh, one more thing, uh, family. It's right head. All right, so uh, now we have a rail service on three operating system. The third step is to associate that uh, oh, oh, for 7.4, if you have existing uh, installation, existing operating system, make sure that the dummy right head is selected here, right? Now the next step is to create a provisioning template. So we can't use the provisioning templates we ship because these are highly parameterized and they won't work in the <coughs> non-host environment in host group provisioning. So I already created a small static kickstart and I will create a new template static kickstart uh, 7.4 library and architecture x86 64 and I'll paste that over here now we need to because okay I'll delete this uh, URL for now so let's put some X over here and I'll sh show you how to find it so this is just a regular kickstart so you need to pick one of you know Google that out or you can even use existing host already provisioned from uh, from satellite basically what you need to do is you know have a valid kickstart syntax and in the post scriptlet you optionally want to install and check it check in via puppet if you do that the host entry in the all host will be automatically created uh, and puppet will create what's called unmanaged host which is just an inventory, basically just of facts. So you can you, go, you can use that for you know <coughs> an inventory purposes. And then usually what you want to do is register via RHSM, either using username, password, or activation key. You need to hard code this into your code, uh, template here. Although in host group provisioning there is uh, a way to parameterize these templates, you can still set a param option. Param param parameters in uh, host groups. I won't cover this in this video. I just want this to be short and easy. All right, so we have this template. Remember to set type to provisioning template and associate that with your host. So in our case, RHEL 7 for organization location is correct here. Now let me show you how to find this URL here. So this is the Intel 8664. So I go ahead and go to products. Uh, right hand right link server. This repository, and here, this is the URL. I could click on that and see the contents of my repo. This one I need to put this, this one I need to put it over here. over here right there as you can see this is hard-coded uh, satellite host name unfortunately if you are using capsules multiple capsules you, you would need to create individual template for each individual you know capsule or you could use some kind of a uh, DNS uh, trick to you know resolve that uh, within your networks or you could uh, use parameterized parameter parameters in uh, in uh, Kickstart using host group parameters, but I won't go into details. 
So one more thing, if she, when you're choosing the name, make sure these are the these are only alpha nums. Dot is also allowed and underscore. Because first, if you do any spaces, it will make your URL Kickstarter URL very you know ugly. Like you need to uh, to you know escape this with the person twenty, and also if you're using capsule, uh, you know. Isolated capsule, you know, uh, kickstarting. Uh, so you're proxying that request via capsule. There's a bug in 62, and it won't proxy that. It will lead into uh, 404 error. So just make sure there are no spaces there. Uh, let's do the same for static kickstart. I will just quickly copy that again, and I would s find this URL for uh, Z system that as well using products there and copy that uh, URL. So I'm um, just I already have that. Remember to have the underscores. Type is provisioning template associated with my uh, operating system that has the dummy media selected it's it's very important and location organization all right so we have that so it's, like, it's the same template uh what oh that's a static ks this one is the cor correct one it's a system set so it's s390 and the type Again, so this one, this one, association. Oh, I lost my association there. So association seven, seven three, reading template seven three library. Okay. And where's my, where's my template? Just quickly. Okay, it's here. Okay, seven three, seven three template, seven four template. All right. Okay, the next step is to create a host group. This is called host group provisioning, so we need to create a host group. Uh, it will be a dummy host group. So again, do underscores and select library, content view, environment, content source. And these are our required options. Well, I think you need you don't need to, to you don't need to select actually you don't need to select these I think let's just let's just enter name puppet environment this is important this needs to be uh, entered and operating system is well seven seven three we're doing a seven three s and here we select dummy red hat all right. Partition table is required, so default whatever, and the rest I think is not okay. Cool. We will do the same for uh, static what was the name? Static Again, let me just copy paste that title. Static. All right. I just wanted to have the same naming convention. So this is seven four x eighty six sixty four, and we don't need that. Uh, just a puppet environment production operating system. Uh, it's just Row seven four all media. Basically, I think we could we could also create a dummy operating system for that, because we don't need to have a separate operating system for each individual uh, host group. But doesn't matter. Okay, dummy, kickstart default. Just make sure that organization location is set. All right, so we have these two guys. And then, then the last step 
is go to provisioning templates, find your template, um, it's this one, go to association and now valid host group and environment combination. Let's find this host group and this, you need to select environment, some environment and like, <clears throat> this is already needed, it's, I can't, you know, um, need to select one, so static production. So it will appear here, as you can see, the same for uh, association, white host group combination, this one. So as we can see, the, the, the two static templates has this host group and uh, public environment combination there. And if you don't have this environment, um, by default, Puppet, there's Puppet environment production, you can create a, a dummy one here. It just doesn't really matter. It's just uh, it needs to it needs to have um, something. Of course, if you're using Puppet, if you're you know using Puppet, then you know you you would select the uh, Puppet environment you want to provision in. But yeah, depends on your uh, template. There, it's not used. This uh, is not used in our example here. And, and yeah, um, and the last step is, you know, to find a template where it gets published. So the, e the easiest way is to click on build pixie default. And what it does, it creates, let me just quickly, it creates a, um, a file. Now I'm trying to, how do I, this build pixie default button will uh, create a tftp uh, pixelinux.cfg slash default file. It is rendered from global default template, so it renders this pixie global default. By default it's empty menu, if you have installed discovery, it's, there's discovery, and then this, for each individual profiles, create label, kernel, append, append. Let me just quickly show you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to copy paste that, how it looks like how it looks like. Let me just quickly delete that. And this is how it got rendered on my system. Like, I can't show you in my browser, but I copy pasted this from the terminal window. And so this is how, you know, uh, if you boot unknown host and it's a light six environment, it will go and fetch the global default Pixel Linux template. And it's like this one. So by default, uh, after uh, 30 seconds, it will boot into discovery. But you can still interrupt this and pick one of the two entries here. So these are just two entries named static, you know, the name of your uh, template and name of your host group. Again, name of your template, name of your host group. And it will basically boot up uh, Anaconda and will, and this is the important bit, it will Hand, hand this, hand this uh, host group, uh, I'm sorry, um, kickstart URL. So as you can see, this is the URL. You, you can't really find it anywhere else than here. So basically, this is the bit you want to take. So if I visit that, I already visited it here. As you can see, this is the URL and slash template slash template name slash host group name as you can see we don't have any uh, spaces here so underscores covers that we ha we see the template uh, we, we see the the uh, anaconda recipe called you know uh, kickstart so yeah this is all you need to you know put your host you know a version of your host from satellite 6 you know templating engine from, you know, Satellite 6 engine or you um, API. And if you have uh, if you have a valid RH some uh, statements or puppet, you can create content or uh, host or host entry for inventory purposes as well. And uh, this is uh, this is it. So remember three steps or several steps. <coughs> so sync your content Sing your kickstarts, then create um, create.
creating Stellation Media. <coughs> so these are the kickstarts. Create dummy in Stellation Media. Uh, associate that with your operating system. So make sure that the you know Stellation Media is there is clicked, um, checked there. Find your or URLs in products. Um, you know, for Z system would be this one, this one, and this is the one. So copy that. Then create your provisioning templates. Uh, unfortunately, for each individual URL, basically, you need to create a um, template because it's hard coded here. So the the although this looks the same, the rest is not rel system Z. 773 and architecture this is the you know difference between like let's say a real version or architecture or even platform <coughs> and <coughs> and the next step is find your url so find your kickstart url using the build pixie default is a nice trick then go and go into let me just uh, on your server, on your TFTP servers, it deploys to all TFTP servers. So any any of the TFTP servers, um, go to var lib TFTP boot pixelinux.cfg slash default, and you'll find your. <coughs> oh yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, first, uh, create host groups for each individual template. You you want a host one host group. You only need to fill in a puppet environment. And select uh, all media. If it, you know, you know, for for mainframe, it doesn't work because of the bug. We'll we'll fix. But for x86, if you select lifecycle environment, a content view, and content source, you are able to select the single content. But this is not really useful because we're not using you know, media at all or sync content at all. So. You don't need to do that if you're if you're creating, and it won't it won't able to click on this uh, until you have lifecycle and all the stuff selected. But you this is basically a dummy uh, entry, so you don't need to do this. You just need to associate the correct operating system with a correct uh, host group with the correct uh, installation media. Uh, sorry, with the <coughs> correct URL there. <coughs> yeah, and then the last step is really click on the button, find the URL, and use it. <coughs> One more thing, um, I, I said I'm, I, I won't go into details, but in each individual host group has <coughs> parameters. In case uh, you can set here a parameter value. And you would you could use these um, parameters in templates. So you'd need um, that would be something like over here. Uh, uh, host params a parameter. I think this is the right syntax. I I don't really know out of my head. But uh, in host group provisioning, there's no host, as I've said. Host is not available. This is the reason why our templates won't work. But it's set to host group, so you can still use some, some methods or some you know functions here. But I don't know if this works. But this way, uh, again, this is not documented yet. Uh, you 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 could uh, parameterize your templates a little bit so you you wouldn't need to create as you know you know as for each individual environment version and architecture um, a new a template let me just quickly if that works I'm not sure I'm just guessing I'm not sure if that uh, it, uh, it rendered fine uh, 
So uh, is this a change in uh, the change is in x86? So let's just, just visit that. Yeah, value is over here. So yeah, you can see this is I just visited the template and the value is here. So when I go to this host group, uh, which was this, which one was that? Oh, sorry, this. Uh, so let me just change that to X submit. If I refresh this template, as you can see, so this way you could parameterize things like things like um, host name, library, and then you could create a nested like static library environment would be let's say prod production and then I would set override this parameter to production this would be part of a URL for example so I now have a nested host group uh, slash prod and I would need to create an association there I would need to create an association So for uh, the template, this is re really not needed if you really want to start right away. Start production over here. Build. Hope this works. Oh yeah. So yeah. So the URL is slash prod basically. So slash prod Pro, um, I made a mistake proc prod so as you can see the URL changed to you know this is the template name this is the host group name and this is the sub nested host group name as you can see I overrided a parameter here so this way you can create a, a nested structure of host groups here like some kind of a base template and then you know um, each individual let's say architecture and within an individual architecture you could you can this is nesting so you can um, you can nest as many uh, architecture let's say s390 x override some parameters and, and then you have another you know host group you know nested <coughs> three levels of <coughs> nested host groups and then you can you can use this <coughs> in your templates. This this is a, a little bit of advanced topic. Let me just quickly <coughs> show you the syntax. So I'm not sure if this is visible or not, but it's you know the syntax is ERB. We don't have much documentation six two. We're improving that for six three, but this is at host dot params. And then square brackets and then the parameter name and this will be basically replaced with your parameter so I think this is it uh, this is uh, this is how you uh, create a host groups associate them um, for host group provisioning hope uh, that was helpful and you'll well, I'll see you uh, in another video thank you